away they go. Round at number 13 is away. The riders clear and off from the straight here being led out by Fen van Ampel. Schreiber coming up on the right-hand side here. This is a slight chicane here to the left and to the right before they come around this turn. It's tight, but it looks like the bunch getting round safely on the uh, dust and dirt. The riders having to run quite hard tyre pressures here at the uh, race, and you'll see why a little bit later on in this course. Not ideal necessarily for these sections. We come into the sand now. This is a 40 metre long section. Van Ampel starting to open up a gap. Is this uh, the moment where we start to see her set out on the front, trying to bring a slightly bigger lead in into our second set of steps here. It's the pace of Van Empel setting the, the pressure on the front. The three youngsters, Van Empel, Peters, and then Van Anroy, the one, two, three. This is the start finish straight, and this is where everybody will want to be on a wheel. It's not excessively long, but it is followed by more sections of tarmac. Ah. Not a good day at the obvious one. It's really fast uh, course here. Look at the dust and the dirt coming off. The, I think there's going to be a question as to whether or not we uh, see a continuation here. Clara Honsinger not looking uh, too happy there. So Sharon Van Amroy now just taking the race lead. Just wanted to keep that pressure on at the moment. Van Alphen, uh, Falconer and Frank are just inside the uh, top. Marie Schreiber again trading places, but we're just starting to see these three pull clear with Persico on the wheel. Now there's got to be a response here. So what happened with that first row start now dropping back a little bit further. And the gap just starting to open up to Van Amroy. Van Amroy was on the front on that climb. I think Rand and Voss. Oh, mistake there by Rand just slid out there. Now these corners, the uh, gravel, the ruts, the stones, very easy to lose a trash there. It looked like it was a mistake. I don't think that was a uh, forced error. And smoothly through there, really keeping that momentum. And a mistake there by Peters, just sliding out as well. Now Van Amroy is going to try and go round the outside. That's going to be a little bit difficult, I think. One really good line through there. So uh, still holding 11 seconds. Voss at 22 seconds. They're onto this big long climb now. So Van Amroy right onto the uh, back wheel of our leading uh, two now. Whilst our front four may still be together, Brandy's now the rider on the charge. You see them going in the opposite direction there. Well, be that Baxter has closed that gap back down now. Next kick coming from the rise, just uh, starting to lap riders. So if Van Empel could take the win and Peters was in fourth place, the back of this group. Two pairs out on the course with Peterson Van Ampel just opening a little bit of a gap to Persico and Van Amroy in the order. Now Van Ampel clearly wanting to make the most of that gap they've opened on Van Amroy and on Persico. Persico pedaling almost frantically there trying to get over, but you can just see the gear just a little bit maybe as she came at the top of that climb, having to just push, just labour over the top of that section. Third place around on the screen, so that's Van Amroy, who's at the back of this train of three riders. Front three as they sit up are going to see this big on four. The bell rings. It is uh, one lap to go. It is the uh, last round as, as it's uh, known in uh, Belgium. And uh, I'll tell you something, this is an absolute cracker at the uh, front of this race. They're not letting off for a moment. Lucinda Brand coming back into form. Van Empel is absolutely motoring on the front. She's got the revs high. You can see the two riders behind her out of the saddle just to stay with her. And she's only got Peters' company, Van Amroy, distanced on that climb. So here we go. Big kick here from uh, Puck. Again, not wanting to relinquish that line. Van Empel on the outside. Peters has run wide. Van Empel tries to put her off. Van Empel is running front there of Peters, but Peters has got the bike engaged. And they're side by side. It's elbow to elbow here. Well, Van Empel's going to come out just slightly in front here. So that attack there by Peters has not worked. And time is now running out. They're going to take this turn here. 
But Van Empel now on the front. She's got that little bit of a gap. We've seen her do this towards the end of the race. Time and time again, she's going to come onto the tarmac first. A look over the shoulder there by Pope Pedersey. And I think it's all over. Well, it is now. There's no way that's coming back. It's race and win in round 13. For Fem Van Empel, it's Pope Pedersey. It takes second place. Three seconds down, she threw everything, including the kitchen sink at her.